Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. The set of rational numbers is countable. Now, our definition of a countable set is as follows. Given a set A, we say that A is countable if A is finite, or there is a bijection from the set of positive integers to A. Now, a property about countable sets that we have proven is the following. A non-empty set A is countable if and only if there is a function f from the set of positive integers to A that maps onto A. Now, we have proven that there is a bijection from the set of positive integers to the integers. We've also proven that there is a bijection from the set of ordered pairs of positive integers to the set of positive integers. And some properties about bijections that we have is, given any set A, there is a bijection from A to A. For example, the identity function on A is a bijection from A to A. Given any two sets A and B, if there's a bijection from A to B, then there's a bijection from B to A. Right, just take the inverse of the bijection that we have from A to B. Also, if there's a bijection from A to B, and there's a bijection from B to C, then there's a bijection from A to C. Right, just take the composition of those two bijections. Right, you'll get a bijection from A to C. We're also going to be using a fact similar to this one. In fact, it's kind of a part of this one. Um, if f is a function from a to b that maps onto b, and g is a function from b to c that maps onto c, then g compose f, which we know is a function from a to c, will map onto c. Another property about bijections is the following. If there's a bijection from a to b, and there's a bijection from c to d, then there's a bijection from the Cartesian product a times c to the Cartesian product b times d. Now, another thing is that we have proven that the set of positive integers is an infinite set, and that every subset of a finite set is finite. Right, we're all familiar with what the set of rational numbers is. The set of rational numbers is the set of real numbers r, with the property that r is equal to a over b for some integers a and b, b not equal to zero. Now, we are going to be proving that the set of rational numbers is countable according to this definition, which means we will have proven that the set of rational numbers is finite or there is a bijection from the positive integers to the rational numbers. But we'll also show that the set of rational numbers is infinite, so then it must be the case that there's a, pos there's a bijection from the set of positive integers to the set of rational numbers. So more specifically, we're going to prove that there's a bijection from the set of positive integers to the set of rational numbers. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start of the proof, we define the following function. We consider the function f, which takes each ordered pair, where the first coordinate is an integer, the second coordinate is a positive integer, and maps it to a rational number by this formula. We're going to prove that f maps onto the set of rational numbers. And to prove that, we're trying to prove for every rational number r, there exists an ordered pair in this set, such that if we send it into the function f, its output value is r. So, to prove that, let's let r be an arbitrary rational number. And now we want to find an ordered pair in this set, such that if we send it into the function f, the output value will be r. Now, since r is a rational number, well then by definition, this means that r is equal to a over b, where a and b are integers and b is not equal to zero. Now since b is not equal to zero, well then either b is greater than zero or b is less than zero. 
And in either case, we are going to show that we can find an ordered pair in the set such that if we send it into the function f, the output value is r. Let's first consider the case b is greater than zero. If b is greater than zero, well then a is an integer, b is a positive integer. So we can send the ordered pair a comma b into the function f. And if we do that, the output value is going to be a over b by definition of our function, but a over b is equal to r. And so that's it. We have found an ordered pair in this set such that if we send it into the function f, the output value is r. So this completes the case where b is greater than zero. Now let's consider the case b is less than zero. If b is less than zero, well then negative b is greater than zero. So then in this case, negative a is an integer and negative b is a positive integer. So we can send the ordered pair negative a comma negative b into our function f. If we do that, what do we get? Well, by definition of our function f, this is just equal to negative a over negative b, which is equal to a over b, and a over b is equal to r. And so that's it. We have again shown that there exists an ordered pair in this set, such that if we send it into the function f, the output value is r. And so that's it. This proves that f maps onto the set of rational numbers. Because we have shown for any rational number r, there exists an ordered pair in the set such that if we send in the function f, the output value will be r. So now we are going to be using properties of bijections and the integers to show that there exists a bijection from the set of positive integers to this set. Well, first of all, let's note that there's a bijection from the set of positive integers to the set of integers. We also know that there is a bijection from the set of positive integers to the set of positive integers. So then, if we recall, one of our preliminary res results was that if there's a bijection from A to B and there's a bijection from C to D, then there's a bijection from A times C to B times D. So that tells us that there's a bijection from the ordered pairs of positive integers to the set of ordered pairs uh, z times z plus, right, this set. But we also know that there's a bijection from the ordered pairs of positive integers to the set of positive integers. But then we know if there's a bijection from a to b, then there's a bijection from b to a. So we can flip these around. So now we see there's a bijection from the set of positive integers to the set of ordered pairs of positive integers, and there's a bijection from the set of ordered pairs of positive integers to this set. If we recall, in general, if there's a bijection from A to B, and there's a bijection from B to C, then there must be a bijection from A to C. So this tells us that there's a bijection from the set of positive integers to this set. Right, so there's a bijection for the set of positive integers to this set. Let's call that bijection G. So since G is a bijection from the set of positive integers to this set, by definition of a bijection, one thing that we know is that G maps onto this set. So now we consider the composition G and F. Right, g is a function from the set of positive integers to this set. f is a function from that set to the set of rational numbers. Therefore, their composition, f composed g, will be a function from the set of positive integers to the set of rational numbers. And since g maps onto this set, f maps onto the set of rational numbers, it follows that their composition, f composed g, will map onto the set of rational numbers. And so we have shown that there exists a function from the set of positive integers to the set of rational numbers that maps onto the set of rational numbers. So then by that preliminary result we had for countable sets, this proves that the set of rational numbers 
is countable. So this proves that the set of rational numbers is countable, but more specifically, we are going to show that there's a bijection from the set of positive integers to the set of rational numbers. Now by definition, to say that the set of rational numbers is countable means that the set of rational numbers is finite or there is a bijection from the set of positive integers to the set of rational numbers. So what goes wrong if the set of rational numbers is finite? Well, if the set of rational numbers is finite, well, every subset of a finite set is finite. So since the set of positive integers is a subset of the rational numbers, that implies the set of positive integers is finite. But that contradicts that other preliminary result we had, which is that the set of positive integers is infinite. So, assuming that the set of rational numbers is finite leads us to a contradiction. So, that means it is not the case that the set of rational numbers is finite. We must have that there is a bijection from the set of positive integers to the set of rational numbers. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.